Hi everyone, I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspie's 8-box conference finals basketball mixer random team break number one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Got eight boxes right here. Excellent. Some lot of nice stuff, including that cornerstones on top. A very big thank you to all of these people for getting into the break. Really appreciate it. And if you have the little uh, rooftop next to your name, that means you got that in a... Uh, Oh, in that gold rush break from earlier today. And all teams are in. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize each list. Three and a three. Six the hard way. One, two, three, four, five, and six. After six times, we've got Mark Matheson all the way down to Michael Kuntz. Once again, three and a three. Six the hard way. One. Two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. After six times, Spurs down to the Shy Town Bulls. All right, Mark, you have the Spurs. Mark Matson. Well, there's two marks in this break. Mark Matson with the Spurs. Mark Glassman, Boombox with my Lakers. Colton, you got the Magic. Tim with the Knicks. Ryan Miller with the Mavs and the Cavs. Stephen K with the Wiz. Alfred, you got the Hornets. Mark with the Nets. Mark Glassman with the Nets and the Golden State Warriors. Chris with the Bucks. Barry with the Thunder. Vinny, Last Bond Mojo, Pelicans. Barry with the Pacers. Brady, you have the Grizz. Stephen K with the Heat. Andy Owens with the Kings. Jared with the Sixers. Chad B with the Raptors. Jason Keane with the Celtics. Stephen K with the Trailblazers. Boombox with the Nuggets. Matt Stone, Hawks, Timberwolves, Rockets. Derek Williams with the Pistons, Mike Tower with the Suns, Tony with the Clips, Darren with the Jazz, and Michael Koontz with the Chicago Bulls. All right, any trades? And he's like, I knew I would get the Pelican. Well, you don't want Anthony Davis autographs? All right, rough, uh, rough day for the Bucks. They fell to the Raptors. I think they've lost three in a row now. So they won the first two in Milwaukee, lost the two in Toronto, and then lost at home against the Raptors. So, any trades? Trade window going once. Hornets up for trade. Well, does what what does everyone think? Who ends up winning this series? Does do the Bucks go to Toronto and then win on the road? Or do the Raptors finish them off? I mean, either way, both teams are losing to the Warriors, right? <laughs> is that a, is that a well established fact? All right, sorry, Alfred. Looks like no no one's interested in the Hornets. All those Hornets hits will go to you. And then they'll be jealous. I'll be like, I should have. Let's print and rip. Trade a window closed, TWC. All right. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to save that preferred basketball for Giannis. I'm going to save that for last. There's the final printout on a Thursday. Thanks for hanging, folks. Thanks for spending your... So I'm going to save that for last. So, But I'll still go to the oldest box first after that, which is 1617 Select Basketball. And select is right over here. All right, there it is. And here we go. Good luck.
All right. Good luck, everybody. Jeremy Reinert says, Raptors will win at home. Drake is living rent-free in the Bucks' heads right now. Yeah, uh, but Coach Bud Budenholzer, I feel like, was a little triggered, right? I think he was like, no, I don't like, you know, why do celebrities get all this attention and allow him to run around and on the court and blah, 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 blah. And I was like, don't worry about him. Don't worry about Drake. Uh, it's not looking good for the for the Bucks. They've they've had a few. Their losses were pretty difficult losses too. You know. All right, there's Al Horford die cut. Forty two out of ninety nine. I was corresponding with Rory. He's a big Bucks fan. He he wasn't happy with the officiating. I was only half watching the game, but. Anyone agree with that? Was or any neutral fans think that the officiating was not good? Forty-two out of ninety-nine for the Celtics. That'll be for Jason Keane. There's Udonis Haslam, jersey for the Heat. That'll be for Stephen K. And that is thirty out of sixty. Is Eric Bledsoe? That will ship, but it's not numbered. And we got DeAndre Bembry. Autograph for the Atlanta Hawks. Matt Stone with the Hawks. Rex says, can I just say that working for a corporation is a joke? Then quit. Out of 299. There's throwback jersey, Vince Carter. The Ageless Wonder. It's out of 99. There's Brandon Ingram. Kind of hope that, they'll, my, that my Lakers just... My Lakers just hold on to their young core. Out of 149. But I don't know if that's going to happen. I think they're going to try to trade for Anthony Davis. This guy might be involved. Rashad, yeah. Vince Carter is the man. He's a, he's a cyborg. I'm convinced he's a cyborg. I'm convinced that every offseason, he gets a new part replaced with robotics. Out of 299, Derrick Rose. Oh, no. I'm saying quit your job and then get a, get a non-corporate job, Rex. You've got the power to do that. No need to complain about the man. Say, forget you, man. I'm going to be my own man, man. Damn the man. And then you end up group breaking on a YouTube stream. 17-18, Panini Donner's Optic Fast Break Basketball is, your, is the following year, which is right here. 17-18. Good luck. Next box, we've got, then we'll do 1718 optics, 1718 status, then we'll get into 1819 stuff, and then we'll close out with 2013 14 Panini Preferred Basketball, where we can possibly find a Giannis rookie auto, which would be pretty cool. Which would be pretty, pretty cool. 
Alfred, you just quit your warehouse job? What are you, what are you doing now? Well, you got oh, 19, you've had a job for 19 years, five weeks of vacation, and a couple blocks from, you live a couple blocks from work. It sounds like the corporation is not a joke. That sounds great, Rex. Stability, vacation, proximity. Sounds like the corporation is great. Everyone see these uh, these buckle up commercials? Do people really not wear seatbelts? All right, there's James Harden All Stars, and there is Doug McDermott at one fifty five. You can work for Jaspies. They get they get compensated pretty well relative to you know California how expensive California is. At a 155. You're you're moving to Arizona. Where where are you now, Alfred? You're moving to Arizona? And you're in uh, and you're working for the family biz. There you go, installing doors and windows. That's good. You start maybe run the family biz at some point. This is a family biz. We're all about family business. We're all about entrepreneur entrepreneurialism. Harry Giles, rated rookie, to 199. Frank Jackson. Uh, the job demands are a joke, says Rex. I see. There's Daniel Theus. Fast break signatures. Well, just tell them no, Rex. You're like, hey, this is not part of my job description. Been here 19 years. You know, I need a little more respect there. That goes to uh, Jason Keene in the Celtics. He won that spot in uh, one of our gold rush breaks. There's Trevor Booker at 85. Well, Alfred, here's a good news. He moved from Ohio to Arizona. I was born in Warren, Ohio, Youngstown, Warren area, before my parents moved out west. Um, I would say, uh, I would say that's a good thing, Alfred, because you're closer to Jaspies. All right, let's go with 17-18 Donner's Optic Basketball, which is right here, 17-18. Actually, that would mean faster shipments. Yeah, probably, probably a day or two faster. Oh, I don't know where Bel Air, Ohio, is, but yeah, uh, Warren specifically. I guess I think they're sister cities. They're like twin cities right next to each other. But yep, that's what the birth cert says. And there's photographs, family photos to prove prove my existence there as well. 
No, but my parents moved out to LA when I was like one or two, two years old, maybe. So when I was not there for very long. I can only very partially claim Ohio. That's right, Rex. You tell them. You tell them. You don't have to do. You don't have time to do your job. I gotta watch group breaks all night. Exactly. You tell them, Rex. I feel like you've got some seniority there. Don't let them push you around. You're like, wait a second. I deserve a little more respect around here. But yeah, Alfred, uh, Arizona, you should you should see you should see uh, your shipments get to you maybe a day or two faster than usual. All right, good luck. Next box. And your autograph coming up is for the Thunder. Rated rookie auto, Terrence Ferguson. Nice. That is for OKC Barry. Barry Roberts with that. Nice. It's James Harden. Rockets have to think about what they want to do in the summer. To retool again. There's Rudy Gobert. Same with the Jazz. I mean, how do you beat these guys? These guys are probably going to win again. Right? So I guess everyone's thinking, how, how do we beat those guys? I wish the Lakers kept this guy. Out of 175. I think in a recent interview, Magic Johnson or someone had had admitted that, yeah, letting Brooke Lopez go was probably a mistake. There's Al Horford to 199. Paul Westfall to 99. Yep, I heard. I guess, I guess I heard right. John Sampson confirming. Yeah, yeah. Magic admitted that was a dumb move. It was because I think I realized originally I thought it was a money issue. Then I someone had reminded me recently, and I I, I read this. I just forgot about it. Uh, let's do status next. Um, that they spent that same money on like Javale McGee and like Lance Stevenson or something like that or something stupid. They give like Javale the same money or something, but. Which is stupid. I mean, like, Brooke Lopez has pretty much reinvented himself as, as a modern center in this league. Look how well he's helped the Milwaukee Bucks this season. And even in that, even in that game one or game two, he just, he just went, went bananas, yeah. What well, Lakers are a mess, John Samuelson. Right, he torched Polinka too. Was there anyone else who was backstabbing? Nope, just Rob. So that pretty much, you know, hopefully, hopefully kids don't watch that interview. <laughs> the free agents don't watch that interview. I mean, that's not helping the Lakers, Magic. Apparently Genie Bus is pretty pissed. I think initially all looked well. There's pictures of Genie Bus and Magic Johnson having a nice little dinner, you know, and now, now back to being pissed again. So we thought we buried this. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's the that's the rumor around town. It's kind of a, kind of a D, John Samuelson. I think he's a little. 
I don't know. It's hard, hard, hard to put the finger on it, but I think he's got like this combination of like, there's Marquise Chris, status autographed to 99 for the Suns. That'll be for Mike Tower. He's got this combination of like arrogance, but like that sort of Southern California -y new aginess, you know? I don't know. It's just like, I don't know if I really like him. Yeah, he's a Kobe guy. He was Kobe's agent for a long time and like Harden's agent and stuff. So I think it's just... So, I don't know. But then there's stories of, you know, then there's stories of him just going, coming around the office, apparently, allegedly, according to Magic, where he was just like, hey, is uh, Magic here today? Like, who does that, right? Magic here today? Oh, I guess you, you know. So it kind of sarcastically, so that, I mean, don't do that. Like, you're... That's kid stuff, right? There's Deer and Fox 75. Yeah, Ryan Miller, Dr. Buss is turning in his grave. He left Genie and Jim a gold mine and they're running it into the ground. I think some I think Bomani Jones had made this point. I like Bomani. He made this point about there's other second generation like owners, right? That are owners' kids who are running various franchises around between football, baseball, and basketball. And you know, they're not as successful as well as their, their progeny. Their progeny are not as successful as, uh, as their parents. JJ Reddick to 299. People on Reddit are saying there's no doubt that that the greatest Laker of all time is Kobe now after the Magic Johnson interview. <coughs> yeah, I think I think Magic Johnson's rep has definitely been been injured because most kids, well, the kids on Reddit, John Samuelson, you know what what are their average ages? Most of them never seen Magic Johnson play. Hell, I'm I'm a little young to have seen Magic Johnson play. You know what I mean? So, let's see. What should, what are we? Are we in eighteen nineteen now? Prison retail? Yeah, let's do retail first. Oh, so we'll do retail. Bop, bop, and look for uh, Giannis in that last box right there. Thirteen year olds on red. So yeah, they they've never seen Magic. So all they know is is T.J. Friday's business owner Magic Johnson, philanthropist Magic Johnson. You know, Magic Johnson Theater is Magic Johnson. You know, guy that was on ESPN, NBA on ESPN, Magic Johnson, for a little bit. Twitter, Magic Johnson. And now president of basketball operations, Magic Johnson. They don't know. They don't know his legacy. So, I mean, of course you think that, of course they're going to be down on Magic Johnson. They don't actually know. But at the same time, I might have to agree with the 13-year-olds on Reddit. <laughs> I mean, come on, Magic. He's better than this. But in a popularity contest, Rob Palenka is, is going to lose. His popularity contest. Oh, God. I didn't even know there was that show. Magic Johnson's son was on that reality TV show. The Real Kids of Beverly Hills. Is that really a thing? What network is that on? Like, lame TV? That's how you know Hollywood has too much money. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a reality, I'm gonna pitch a reality TV show. A case breaking. We're gonna get a TV show, you guys. If the real kids of Beverly Hills can get a TV show. Oh, is it on Bravo? All right, now we are in eighteen nineteen. 
Ladies and gentlemen, 2018-19. Yankees, what's going on? There's Silver, Kevin Knox. And Red Wave, Jordan Clarkson, which are not numbered, but they'll ship. These are a little more especial. There's Miles Bridges. Svi Mahaliak. We got Green, a Jermichael Green. Nice. I think that's a retail exclusive parallel. If I remember correctly. Oh, that was not a family-friendly comment on TNT. There's Russell Westbrook hyped. What is it? What, are, what show are we watching now? I want more inside the NBA. Animal Kingdom. I'm going to NBA TV. That's appropriate for this break. There's Jay Crowder. And Josh Okogie for the Timberwolves. So that'll be for Matt Stone, who got randomized Minnesota. He's got Josh Okogie in the bag. Nailed it. Nice, Colton Carver getting on the uh, getting in on the Big Hit Express Series Two action. Pre-orders on JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. There'll be basketball in that set too. No, it was Animal Kingdom. Oh, I, I love Animal Channel. Animal Planet's great. But I, I don't I don't watch Animal Kingdom on on TNT. All right, 18-19 Optic. Basketball. So the rich kids of Beverly Hills had four seasons, ladies, 2012 to 16. Sounds like it was a hit. Had a Hasselhoff kid, Vera Wang's kid. What was Vera Wang's kid doing? I feel like that's off-brand. Like classy Vera Wang, and she's like, Yeah, sure, go ahead. Vera Wang kid, go be in a reality show. And then Rod Stewart's kid, maybe. Interesting. Maybe this guy, that would make uh, no, that would make uh, Ryan Miller very happy if we found found that guy. He got randomized the Mavs. <laughs> Ryan Miller's like, yes, please, that'd be nice. Yes, Magic Johnson's kid is. Is very flamboyant. Big part of the gay community here in Los Angeles. I didn't realize on a TV. I don't know what he's doing. I feel like I feel like he has like the charisma that his dad does. I don't know what I don't know what he's doing with that.
Alright, no, no self-promo atomic card, guys. Sorry. It's not the place for that. There's Kevin Love to 99. Rashad, so what exactly are the big hit case breaks for tomorrow? I'm glad you asked, Rashad. I'm going to drop a list of videos for you. And you can watch the hits from series one. Yeah, maybe you mean that for, for maybe you meant that for another channel, Atomic. But that definitely not here. We will, we will ban people for stuff like that. Uh, Steven Adams to 149. Ooh, what is this? Wow, retro series Dennis Johnson, gold vinyl, one of one for the Celtics. A little Oppo Joe Mojo for Jason Keane. Nice, Jason. One of one. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! There'll be a lot of that tomorrow in our Big Hit Express series too. One train whistle per case. Maybe more. Nick was threatening more. I gotta, I gotta rest my voice. John Samson says, I didn't get too many, get into too many of series one. But he does love the uh, PSA 10 KD autograph that he got from Big E. Oh, yeah. That was the Mosaic one, right? We were, we were previewing the set. Or we were looking at Series 1 stuff. And I was like, oh, that's nice. PSA 10 Mosaic? I forgot that went to you. And we've got Signature Series, Kadeem Allen for the Knicks. That's going to go to Tim Hess. Yes, they will sell out. Well, we have 20 cases this time, John Samuelson, so we've doubled the amount of cases this time around. Last time there was only 10 cases, so I think more people should have uh, should have more chances to get into it, especially if they didn't get into Series 1. Nice. On display in the man cave. There you go. That's, congrats again. That's a nice one. Those mosaics, I think, I guess if you were to ever sell it, those mosaics are, uh, I remember they were selling pretty well on a secondary market. All right. Then we'll have 18, 19, and then we'll go Giannis hunting in the last box. I guess we saved it all the way to the end, so let's see if it was uh, worth the hype, worth the wait, or if it was just... A waste of time. All right, so there should be a base card right there. All right. All right, we'll use this blank card right there to hide the hits. Reggie Jackson. Were they, were they rookies, Ryan Miller? If so, then yes. Only veteran commons don't chip. 110 out of 139, Damian Lillard. Damn, what do the Trailblazers do in the offseason? Try to get back into the conference finals. Beat those dastardly warriors. There's Westbrook. What do the OKC Thunder do? You know, a lot of people. How do you how do you topple the Warriors? Six out of ten. Wayne Ellington, elemental autograph for the Heat. Stephen K. That's basically it, right? Every all all everyone's doing in the league is just figuring out how to beat the Warriors. There's Robert Williams III, building blocks. Is it? Is it Kyrie and LeBron getting back together again? Kyrie, LeBron, and the youngsters? Kyrie, LeBron, youngsters, Anthony Davis? Will that do it? Maybe. Healthy LeBron James, probably. 
And the Cornerstones autograph. Wow. Ryan Miller with the Dallas Mavericks. What do you think about this? Do you even care about your your uh, your base Sextons and Smith Juniors anymore? No. You don't care about those anymore. Let's go, he says. You don't care about those anymore. Forget those base cards. F those base cards. Throw them away, he says. I don't care anymore. Quad Relic and On Card Lulu Cornerstones. 58 out of 199. Your, your presumptive Rookie of the Year. On a real heavy card stock. I think it's a little loose in here, so we'll make sure we blue tape that up so it doesn't slide around. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Nice. Congrats, Ryan. There you go. It wasn't in that other box. It was in this one. All right. Now... Well, that was a little bit of magic in that last box. Giannis time? That would make Chris Parent very happy. He's got the bucks. This box is kind of excessive. They're in packs, right? Yeah, okay. There are. Oh, the box... You guys didn't see it, right? All right. So this is 2013 Panini Preferred Basketball. There's two cards in here. Let's put that one there. And the die cut autograph, Ty Lawson. That is Denver Nuggets. That will be for Boombox. Oh, okay. John, John, and Stephen K saw it. All right, and that is six out of ten, Boombox. Remember this? <laughs> All right, and the other hit was Crown Royale die cut. Walt Frazier old. Uh, Knicks legend Tim Hess. I think he's their. Is he their TV color commentator now? I think. Radio maybe one out of ten on that one, Knicks. That's Tim Hess once again. Isn't Ty Lawson a Grizzly now? Another Nick. It's Rolando Blackman for the Knicks. He's got a nice autograph. Real nice autograph. Four out of ten. Nice low numbers here. All right. Are Giannis? No, not Giannis, but NBA Pride Brandon Knight Bucks Edition. And that'll go to Chris Parent, not the Giannis that we were looking for, but a hit nonetheless. I ran out of top loader, so I'll, I'll grab one when the break's done. And the book. I know some of you saw the book. I forgot that that was exposed. It's Carl Malone for the Jazz and Tom Chambers for the Suns. 121 out of 199 dual relic. So that'll be a randomizer between the Jazz and the Suns. So let's flip back. To some new dice, blank list, uh, Utah Jazz and the Phoenix Suns. Let's randomize that list. Five and a six, 11 times. Team on top gets it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11 the final time. Team on top flips to the Phoenix Suns. That goes to Mike Tower. Mike Tower, that book right there is yours. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for uh, filling up this eight-box conference finals basketball mixer. We'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.